Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden, and what you're listening to is the Borzendorfer Upright by Synchron Pianos. And we're currently looking at the concert Deca Tree position. And if we go into the mix, we see that we're using the condenser mid two and main centered microphones which are part of the mics in the Concert Decatry preset. Let's take a look at the Intimate Decatry preset. The condenser mid to main and main centered are all mic positions in the standard version. And so you have four mic positions in the standard version and you get an additional four, the ribbon condenser two, mid one, and surround mic positions in the full version. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next preset, which is the player deca tree. So this is from the perspective of playing the piano from the player. And that would sound like this. So the, the piano, being an upright, is good for chamber ensemble venues or also for playing jazz, rock, pop, R&B. So it's a versatile piano. In those kinds of settings also can be used extensively for film music. So let's take a look at another mic configuration, the pop decatry. This is more for pop music and the MIDI sensitivity is turned up a bit, which gives you a more presence and more volume. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Next, we have the Ambience Decatry. So all of these mic positions are available in the standard version. And then we have the vintage deca tree next.
this particular preset illustrates the use of effects that we have available. There's cabinet, phase, phaser, compressor, and you can apply those effects on each of the mic positions. And then the, on the main bus, we have delay, play reverb, and power pan. So you see, even within the individual plugins, you have a lot of control. And you can add additional distortion, delay, dynamics. We have these four options here. Filters, many kinds of filters, modulation, reverb, and the utility. So the next preset we'll look at is the, now we're starting into the full version. Here's Concert Surround to Stereo. So the strength of the Synchron pianos in general are all of these extra mic positions. Let's take a look at the next surround sound configuration. So here we have the surround mic as well as the mid one as well as the ribbon, which would just be in the uh, full version along with the condenser and then the main and main C main centered in the uh, standard version. And then in the player surround the stereo from the player's point of view. And again, we have the pop setting, this time using some of the, of the surround mics, in particular the condenser 2 and the surround. So we see the Bosendorf upright is comfortable in popular music as well as classical. So the next mic position we have is ambience, surround to stereo.
to the vintage again, in this case the surround sound version. And then we have a group of special effects presets. The first one is called Evolution. So let's hear what that sounds like. Now, in these effects presets, if you look at the effects, we have the, re the room reverb, auto gain, delay, and so on. In the uh, different mics, the condenser mic and the main mic, we have pretty much the same, and then the main centered, pretty much the same. And again, these can be changed. Here's the room, re the room reverb. So we have all these different settings. We can change the dry, wet levels, and so on, everything you see. And going to the next one, Diamonds in the Night. Reality check. And after Stadium, we have Time Warp. So you have a nice ethereal sound. Then we have a wormhole. Magic doors. Blunt, but friendly. Fuzz Master.
cotton candy. Donnie. Glittering clouds. High and mighty. Morphology. From a distance. So all of these could fit in film scoring settings. And again, you can tweak any of these inserts to the mic positions, as well as the main bus. And let's take a look at the last curated preset, Pierce. So in addition to putting effects on the various microphones, we also have in the edit menu the ability to select a range of keys. So by holding down the command key on the Mac and selecting a range, we can then, if we're in the volume category here, we can increase or decrease the volume. Also for the dynamic range, we can decrease the dynamic range of those keys selected, as well as tune the keys up to 100 cents down to minus 100. Not only that, for the same selected range, if we click in here, we can add reverb to the entire region. So suppose I go to the back to the Deca Tree concert Deca Tree. And then suppose I go ahead and increase the gain, decrease the cue. So I can apply the EQ to the entire region selected. And by holding down the Alt key and selecting the range, I can unselect the keys. Also, by holding down the Command key, I can select just a few keys anywhere I choose, even one key. So you have this multi-edit capability and then I can 
in this case, change the tuning. And then by holding down the command key, or better yet, well, and then selecting in the this range here, hitting command and selecting this range here, I reset everything back to normal. So again, we could EQ the selected range down, make it quieter. And emphasize the frequencies, say from 80 hertz to up to 20k. Suppose I want to add a little bit of um, sparkle to the high end, then I can just move this over here. So there you have the an overlook, an overview of the Synchron Piano Bos Bosendorfer Upright. And in addition to the controls we saw in the edit menu, we also have on the main page the algorithmic reverb, which we can adjust in addition to the natural reverb of the mic positions. Also, we have overall volume, dynamic, which is accessible from this page, as well as body, uh, the sympathetic response. You can add in the timber shift for the entire keyboard range, the MIDI sensitivity, which is usually increased in the uh, in the pop version of the presets. You have control over your pedal noise and key noise, as well as overall tuning and octave shifts, as well as semitone shifts. So very useful features for any piano. So this is Bill McFadden. Signing off.